In this problem, we have a trigonometric equation. We have cosine squared minus sine squared, and that's actually equal to 1. So let's go ahead and try to work through this solution. So it would be really nice if the right-hand side was a 0, <laughs> because we know that the left-hand side is the difference of squares. So you can write this as cosine x minus sine x times cosine x plus sine x. But it's equal to 1 on the right-hand side, so it's not really going to help us. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use a trig identity. So cosine squared minus sine squared is the same thing as cosine of 2x. And this is equal to 1. Okay, so now we're carefully going to solve this. So the issue here is that there is a 2x. Okay, so let's think about where x is. x is between 0 and 2 pi. So let's write that down less than 2 pi, greater than or equal to 0. By the way, this strategy, what I'm doing here, like writing this down, whenever you have like a 2x or like a 3x or something besides x and it's equal to a number and you're trying to solve an equation like this, do this, right? Do what I'm doing like this. Put the x between these numbers and then what you do is you make this look like what's inside your trig function. So we have a 2x here, so now we're going to multiply everything by 2. So 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi. So now we're thinking of, okay, what are all the answers between 0 and 4 pi? That's how it works. So we're looking for all of the values of this, of 2x. You can call it u if you like. If you like, you can do this and let u equal 2x. So all of the values of u, where u is between 0 and 4 pi, such that the cosine of u is equal to 1. Okay, let's think about the unit circle. Here's 0, here's pi over 2, here's pi, here's 3 pi over 2. So here's our unit circle. And so on the unit circle, every ordered pair can be written as cosine theta, comma, sine theta, every single one. So we want uh, the places where the x-coordinate is 1. That's going to be here and here. Uh, no, you know, it's going to be here, <laughs> 1, 0. And that's it. I think this is the only place. Yeah, this is the only place where the x-coordinate is going to be 1. This is, so the only angles uh, would be 0. So u equals 0. And then, again, we're going between... 0 and 4 pi. Another angle would be 2 pi, right? This is also 2 pi. You might say, well, what, what about 4 pi? Well, 4 pi won't work because we have a strict inequality. So these are the only two angles between 0 and 4 pi where the cosine is equal to 1. And so that would mean that 2x is equal to 0 and also that 2x is equal to 2 pi. So that means that x is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi, right, dividing by 2. And that would be the final answer.